After using the Chromecast for several years now and relying on smart TVs around my house for streaming, I finally decided to upgrade all four of my TVs with an Apple TV. Now initially, I was just testing the waters with one, but I quickly realized the Apple TV is more than just another streaming device. It's the complete streaming and smart home hub. So here's why I switched to the Apple TV and it's transformed my home viewing experience and why you might want to do the same. Let's talk about TV performance. It's faster, it's smoother, and cleaner. Yes, I do understand that most modern day smart TVs can stream apps and offer a decent functionality, but even some of the most expensive ones feel sluggish and my current OLED LG, which costs a fortune, that smart TV is, uh, how can I say this, slow, sluggish, and even the UI delays, it's just, it ruins the whole experience. Which is why I had a Chromecast initially plugged into this one. But then I switched it with an Apple TV, and it was a night and day difference. You see, the Apple TV does have a Bionic A15 chipset running inside every modern day Apple TV, meaning it's the same processor that's found on a modern day iPhone. It makes the experience buttery smooth. There's no dumb ads, unlike many smart TVs nowadays, which just flood you on the homepage with ads, which I don't care for. The Apple TV keeps things clean and ad free. And then let me also talk about the picture in picture support. You see, the Apple TV allows you to actually watch two things at once, so my kids could be watching their show while I'm monitoring my favorite sport game on a corner of my screen. Something that I haven't seen another streaming box be able to do, let alone be able to maintain the buttery smooth performance. Then with every modern day Apple TV that's available on the market, it's fanless. So there's no fan running in the background, giving you a dead quiet experience, unlike some modern day gaming consoles. And now when it comes to software and functionality, this thing has a lot of amazing functionalities. You see, the Apple TV isn't just a simple media player. It's packed with software and features that will elevate your viewing experience beyond what most smart TVs can dream of. FaceTime call quality, it does have FaceTime integration which will utilize your smartphone or tablet as the camera source and this will allow you to place it down anywhere on a flat surface and you could do cool stuff like watch the same media with a group of friends all the way around the world, easily delivering the experience as if you're right there. I remember Xbox used to have something like this, they stopped. But now with Apple TV, you could do it regardless on the app you're watching it from. And the thing I find myself enjoying the most is the stunning screensavers that it has. It's very dynamic that adapt to the time of day, giving your TV a sleek premium look even while it's on idle. And don't forget, since it is an Apple product, if you have Apple products around your household and you are a part of the Apple ecosystem, you will truly appreciate the AirPod support. This comes in clutch, especially when it's just me and the spouse about to go to bed I just pair my AirPods and a little icon will pop right there. Effortlessly connect with spatial audio support, allowing me to continue listening to my media while my spouse is about to go to sleep without any distractions. And with the built-in control center, I can easily set a hour or two hour timer, which will automatically turn off my TV and the Apple TV all at once. Instead of fiddling through your television's menu and going through multiple menus just to get access to the timer. And yes, uh, in case you're wondering, it does have built-in Bluetooth, which allows you to connect not only a gaming controller, but also third-party Bluetooth headphones as well. So if you don't have AirPods, you're still good. You're not left out. The Apple TV remote is noticeably easy to misplace, but thanks to the Find My ability, you can always just track your device from your iPhone, just like that. Very similar to like AirTags, it will tell you if you're getting close or further away. It's really easy to find it, especially if it's underneath the couch. But if you don't have access to the remote in general, or you're just too lazy, your iPhone or Apple Watch, the remote app will allow you to remotely control your Apple TV as well as your television from here. I have mine integrated on Control Center, so it's a simple click. And speaking of control center features, you can even check remotely whether your TV is left on or off if you leave. This gives you the greatest peace in mind 
knowing that you didn't forget your TV on. And another cool thing about the Apple TV is if you subscribe to a new subscription service and you're trying to log in and that subscription service does not support like a QR code or something like that to quickly scan and log in, whatever typing you need to do, it will give you the option to autofill your password if you're utilizing Apple's password software feature. But you have the ability to use your current iPhone as a keyboard or tablet like an iPad. So gone are the days of having used the on-screen keyboard to type up your password and emails. And then all the apps you need and more, I'm pretty sure the Apple TV has it. As there's a plethora of supported streaming apps available here, some you may not even find on your televisions like Peacock, for example. Yeah, again, my OLED LG does not have Peacock support, but the Apple TV does. And in addition to that, you can find VPN supports here as well. So if you're subscribed to something like Surfshark VPN or something like that, you can install it directly on your Apple TV and have access to more categories that are not available in your region thanks to the VPN support. And when it comes down to picture and sound quality, if you're somebody who cares about top tier sound as well as picture, Apple TV is a no brainer. HDR10 and Dolby Vision support, the Apple TV fully supports both HDR10 and Dolby Vision, giving you a richer color and deeper contrast for an immersive viewing experience. Quick color calibration can also be used on the Apple TV as you can calibrate all this automatically utilizing your iPhone's hardware so you can get the best picture quality possible. And then for sound, AirPlay is fully supported on here as well. If you have a Sonos sound system or HomePods, doesn't matter if it's a full-size HomePod or the Mini, the Apple TV connects effortlessly to give you full spatial audio and Dolby Atmos support. This integration creates an unmatchable sound experience surrounding your whole living space or your mini cinema if you're watching something like in a bedroom or something like that. It's adaptable. And mirroring your device is super easy as well for both work or family purposes. With AirPlay, the Apple TV makes mirroring content to your TV impressively easy. This is one of the standout features compared to other streaming devices. It's perfect for presentations. If you ever need to present something from your Mac or your iPad, the Apple TV makes everything effortlessly. It's also great for family photos too. If you want to share a photo or a video to your friends and family, simply mirror your iPhone and with the Apple TV, you're all set. Then when it comes to smart home stuff, the Apple TV serves as a home kid hub, allowing you to control your smart home devices, lights, locks, or even control your home's temperature remotely from your Apple TV or iPhone. For instance, whenever I'm viewing something, I'm really into the series or a movie that I'm watching, it will alert me on top without distracting me fully that my front door deadbolt has been unlocked. So it allows me to monitor all that remotely. And when it comes to kids entertainment, if you don't have a gaming console, you can find some pretty fun mobile games on here as well. So if you have kids or something like that, you can just allow them to play free games here with Apple Arcade. They do offer a monthly service to give you access to over like 100 plus games, but this will never replace like a full and gaming console like a PS5 or an Xbox of some sort, but it does have that freedom, especially since you could connect those Bluetooth controllers on the Apple TV without any issues. So final thoughts, is the Apple TV worth it? Absolutely. The Apple TV takes everything you love about streaming, watching, and home control to a whole new level. From its blazing fast processor for performance to give you the deep integration with the Apple ecosystem and smart home device control, this isn't just another streaming box. It's the complete package for everything from media streaming to amazing app functionalities and smart home control. Oh, and I nearly forgot, um, Apple Music is fully supported on here, but this allows you to have access to a QR code, which will allow anybody in your household to add songs directly from their iPhones. So let me know, have you tried the Apple TV yet? If so, what's your favorite feature about it? Let me know in the comments down below. 
If you're interested to see what else the Apple TV can do, especially on the latest version of on TV OS 18, you can check it out right over there where I go through all my favorite tips and tricks. And don't forget to leave this video a like and don't forget to subscribe for more tech tips, tricks, and reviews like this. My name was Eddie and thank you so much for watching.